I've been in foster care since the age of nine, and I reunited with my family when I was 17. And when I got back, I, I've been seeing nothing but sneakiness, dysfunctional, weird stuff going on under the table, things going on behind people's backs. The relationship that my little sister and my brother have is not normal, it's not, it's not, it's not right. I don't feel like it's right. He like treats her like, I don't know, like a girlfriend, the hugs, like the way they, they're affectionate with each other. My sister is a child, she's young. She, I don't know, I don't even feel like she knows better. I don't even feel like she kind of know what's going on. About five months ago, I was going up the stairs and when I got up to the top of the stairs and I went in and I looked into the bedroom and Ernest was laying there and when I came in the room, I, I don't know what they were doing, but I, I, I guess I messed it up because she looked, she jumped and moved one way and get like got from her and he flipped and he went to the other side. My girlfriend, she called the police and she called CPS because she felt uncomfortable and she felt like something was going on and nobody was doing anything about it. To be honest, she kind of thinks that they have a weird relationship as well. I feel like everyone in the house believes that they have a weird relationship. Just don't nobody really want to express it but me. So the police, they closed that case. They didn't get a lot of evidence because my sister wouldn't cooperate with what they was going on. And with my, with my mom's ex-boyfriend, Johnny, Johnny was around when we was discussing the whole situation with Ernest. He was around and he started to pick up like what me and my mother was talking about. I believe that he seen us looking into the, the thing with Ernest. I feel like he thought that that was an opportunity for him to maybe, maybe he can get away with it or maybe, it, it, maybe she can allow it. One night, a whole bunch of things kind of transpired one night with Johnny. He came upstairs looking for his keys and he had his keys. So I went upstairs to ask my son where were my keys. He was asleep. My son and her daughter shares a room. I know where they're at. This is uh, her daughter that says that I had them. So she comes out of her room, goes downstairs, find the keys and give me the keys. And that was basically, basically it. I just heard Johnny kept calling my little sister's name and trying to get her to turn on the light in the bathroom. And he was just trying to get her to find things for him. It makes me think that he tried to touch my little sister by the way he, was, the way he did it. I don't understand why he needed help to turn on the light switch. My ex Ina is trying to accuse me of touching her daughter. She just said, my daughter told me everything that you did to her. I just come to clear my name and get to the bottom of this. Your son Tyree seems very, very credible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which, if that's the case, then there's a lot of bad stuff happening in your house. Yes, it is. Um, it's been happening within my household for many years. What's been happening? Them touching each other. You must feel a certain way because you're setting a trap. I mean, I don't set traps in my house. I'll put it to you like this. I have my own personal relationship with God. And if he tell me to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to quit. And then I'm... But you must, you must have had a suspicious feeling about you. No. I, I'm, I've been suspicious for over 20 years when it happened to from a family member. Okay. So I've been So it wasn't way. particularly in John. It's not particularly in John. what about John saying he's going to his son's room to look for his keys? Why didn't he wake me up? The way my house well, I mean, is... One, one o'clock in the morning, you're going to go ask your son for, who's asleep? This is what he said. This is what he tells me. That story But when stinks. my daughter got up and she went to school, my daughter came and whispered to me and she said, Mom, if he tell you he was looking for the keys, he wasn't. He already had them. This is what my... This, the same little girl, this is what she told me. He asked her to go in the bathroom. Three things all the same night. <laughs> Can you come turn this light on for me? Why are you upstairs on the second floor? See, the way my house is set, all the kids have their bedrooms upstairs. You got three bedrooms upstairs, and they have their own bathroom. On the first floor is my bed bedroom, my bathroom, and I have a bedroom up here for Ernest. So the way I set my house up, should no adults be upstairs. You ain't got no reason to be upstairs at all. Everything that an adult need is on the first floor. So why are you upstairs? You ever see any sex behavior between your daughter and uh, Ernest? No, I haven't. Um, do you see them being very close with each other? Yes, I do. Right. Um, and what about your relationship with Tyree? My relationship with Tyree, in my eyes, is just fine. Since Tyree came back after seven years of being gone, it's like 
We reconnect. I have to learn who he is now that he's older because he was younger when he left the household. He's very helpful to me. He's very why, loving to why me. Why was he in foster care? Because of his own horrible behavior. Okay. So who placed him in foster care? I did. You did. Why? Well, it's not. It, I didn't. Flew, I, didn't I, I gotta didn't believe took, somebody. Didn't, who you want me to believe? Two, I didn't took two planes out here. I took two planes out here too. What why, made your trip better than mine? Why would I come out here all the way to lie though? Why would you come out here? Do you want the main position? You have a main position with me. You will always have a main position with me. You ain't never got to take nobody's position. You who, have Tyree's who, who position, position, who position with his mother. Trying to take? Are you trying to take Ernest's position? He ain't even give, got no position. Good position. I don't no, want his position. No, he don't have a good so position. I don't want his position. I just I don't want the know. truth. I just I, want the I truth. Want the truth That's all I want. I want do you, the truth do also. you believe that your brother is molesting your sister? I wanted, to, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I really did. And when I talked to her and I told her what I seen, I didn't see no, no private part. I didn't see no, no sexual content. But why is my, my, my little sister? But so what you like, saw makes you to believe that something was it's happening. something going on in the relationship they got going on. Like, I don't know. Like, my sister, like, I don't know. She got a lot of respect for me. Like, like she, she see me. Like, I'm the little brother. She see me. She's got a lot of respect for me. She see Ernest. It's all huggy-duggy and you know, all walking around. It's, it's a different. It's a difference between me. See, it, it was calculating in my head. And I really wanted to give my big brother the benefit of the doubt. So I walked off. And I walked off. When, and you, I told, went, I, when you told Ina, what was her reaction? She was gonna get to the bottom of it. She told me she was gonna get to the bottom of it, and I wasn't living in the house at the time. And I told her I, I, I wasn't coming here to bring drama to your house. I'm not coming here to start nothing in your house. I told her what I seen. I said I didn't, I didn't see, over exaggerate. I said I didn't see nothing, but what I did see, it looked foul. So you, you, you get, you, you, you come to them and you have a conversation with them. And I left and I went back where. Just I was to clarify, at. the police were never involved with this, right? Not at not. The police were called on me and Ernest. Well, not me. The police were called twice. Um, Called the police and they came out and they took all of us. They took Ernest into custody and they took me and they took my little girl and we went to the main CPS building. They they interviewed my daughter all by herself. They interviewed me all by myself and they kept Ernest on lockdown. Once they didn't they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything from her. What I, happened with your daughter? Well, like, what did she tell the police? She said that nothing happened. It's just, you know, just her and her brother having a regular relationship, but they closed that case. Did they examine her? No, they didn't. She did not want nobody to examine her. I asked her, they offered that. I said, I'll ask her because we're talking about her taking her clothes off and that's her body. Right. And I need to respect her as a young girl. And I asked her and she said, mama, that's not necessary. John also called on me and Ernest and said that this, and they came in and they investigated again. John called on you. Johnny called, John called CPS on me, he called you on me and he called on me. Well, he's staying me. with you. No, he don't stay with me. When my son told me that this man was creeping around on the second floor, you can't stay in my house. So no. then you made him leave. Yes. Do you believe Johnny molested your sister? I know I know Johnny probably better than everybody know John, and I don't think he did it, but the stuff he did that night, I don't well, know. Well, the whole two thing about two, going to the kids two is room, four. asking for keys at 1 o'clock in the morning? That, that, that's, just, that's why I say what I, I say. I believe he had horrible intentions. I, don't, I didn't accuse him of touching her. Right, he might have got yeah. stopped. I, I don't, yes, I didn't accuse him of touching her at all. He, was, he just shouldn't have had his butt on the second floor where my kids is at. So it don't matter whether he passed or failed, he still ain't coming floor. in my house. Nothing. And what is it that you know? I know is that me and my sister, we have a bond. I'm not going to say that, you know, me and my sister, we do a whole lot of stuff together, but I do say that I do a lot of stuff for my sister. I walk her to school every day. I help her with her homework. I do play with her when she has nothing to play with because I do have other siblings that, you know, I have a little brother. He's a mama's boy, and I have other brothers, and they, they we're really not close. So, you know what I'm saying? My sister really doesn't have anybody there. You know, all of my other siblings are grown. But when I asked you about that day, how, how, why everybody got amnesia, though? When I asked you, I about, asked you what about that day also. And you I got asked amnesia. you and I, I asked you. You said, I don't even remember I told that you day. I don't remember okay, the day. Okay, why but would I, you say you don't remember? Why would you, why would you say, Mama, no, ain't nothing man, like that never look. happened in me with I'm me? I'm trying to tell you, I told you I don't remember the day, but I recall around the time you guys are talking about it was upstairs used to always come in my room, and she used to always try to take all my clothes, my shoes, my Nike sandals, all of that. I throw her out of my room. She comes back in. She's trying to pull me off the bed. She's trying to do all of this and that, and I'm trying to throw her out of my room. Why is she doing that? I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? She likes clothes. You she know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. exactly. The she reason why I went to the kids' room, I went to her room first. No, you didn't. The, 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 you came to my room the, I went to her room first. For what? I'm talking. What did so, you, you had you, you had your time <laughs> to and talk. And I'm gonna have some more time because these are my kids. 
for, for my keys, because the day prior, right. we couldn't find my keys. So my son likes to pay so, with... So you went into her room? Went into her room and asked for my keys. What did she say? She said, my son has them. My son shared... Did you say that? He went and came in my room, and he woke me up out of my sleep. Now, mind you, before I went to sleep, because he keep hiding the keys, I put the keys yeah. in front of my TV. I made sure I put them right there for him. But when he came and woke me up, he said, you know where the keys at? They right there in front of the TV. He's standing like, ain't no keys there. But when exactly. I got up in the morning, my daughter said, Mama, don't let John trick you. He already had the keys. I gave them to him last night. That, 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 that's not the case. That's what my daughter told me. Did that's you... not the... Listen. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to spend the whole half hour talking about keys. But, did but you, that's a big you, part of it. I understand. I'll, but let's get right to the point. Did you have any sexual inappropriateness with the little girl? No, I didn't. Okay. Didn't do anything? Nothing. Did you have some intentions? Have any intention? No intentions at all. Okay. I'm the one that called the show. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that called the show. Okay. Where's Johnny? Did you ever engage in any sexual physical contact with Ina's daughter? He answered no, and the results for his lie detector test is that Johnny did not tell the truth. <laughs> Well, here's where we run into a problem, no, John. No, never. Listen to me now. No, never. Let me tell you something No, now. never. Your story... This is wrong. ...stinks. It's no good. This it doesn't wrong. add up. This is so wrong. So the fact that now you feel you lie detector test... I never that girl at all. Never. And the thing is... Yes, I am. This seems like a house where this I, goes I, on I, a I lot. I want that wrong. Ernest, we asked you, did you ever engage in any sexual physical contact with your sister? You answered no. Results are Ernest did not tell the truth. <laughs> what? This is where You get out of my house, you stay out of my life. I'm taking full custody of my son. You nasty son of a bitch. Do not come and see my baby. You get, get out of my house. This is right. <laughs> you get right. your This is your blood. <laughs> you are screwing up your sister for the rest of her life by doing what you're doing. You as an older brother are supposed to be protecting her. Not, not, not engaging in behavior to satisfy your sexual needs. You know you did this because one, he's not lying. He saw you doing it. That's not what happened. That is what That's happened. That's not what happened. You little nasty punk. That, 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 what, you to, what you told him, that what happened? That's what Why happened. Why did you tell him I that when they were giving touch you a her, test? I, 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 I'm not you even... shouldn't have touched her then if you touched her. You touched her then, you failed today. But you knew then, though. Oh, no. I knew then, no, though. You knew then. What do you, want, what do you to need God. to tell I your mom? I didn't know what you were doing. I want to talk to the guy. What do you need to tell your mom? I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. No. I ain't trying to hear it. What do you want to tell her? I don't want him to tell me nothing. I just, I just want to say the allegation that he was making at the house is not true, but the allegation that happened before, I'm not even going to lie, I was touching on my little sister. Not, like, freaking on her, but I was touching on her in an inappropriate way. I'm not even going to lie. Anything you want to say to your mother? None of this is true. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not gonna say none of it is true, but the allegations that he said is not true. I've never, she's never been nowhere near my private part. Never in my entire life. Are you a like victim, I told are you, you a I'm victim not, of molestation? I'm sorry, what? Are you a victim of molestation? Yes, sir. We've known, if you, anybody studies sexual molestation, a lot of times the victim becomes the abuser. A lot of times. And unfortunately, somebody abused you and the pattern is what's been established. Now you become the abuser. You went from victim to abuser. You need help yourself, but you have to do everything you can to stop doing what you're doing to your sister. Because now you're going to screw her up. Not just her, I'm going to screw my, my own life up. Yeah, it's a, I, I would say at this point it's already screwed up. I say it a lot. But it is the truth. Most people, when they come here, they already know the truth. This is just verification of the truth. You needed it. I and, needed this. Uh, and, and your daughter. 
I'm going to give my baby some counseling. Yeah, uh, she yes, needs I a lot of help. You need to keep these. Johnny definitely should go to oh, jail for I'm what he's doing. I'm going home to press charges. Yes. I am going Good to luck you. Thank you. I wish y'all luck. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.